Still got of minor alchemy, huh? Create potions that are 12% more powerful. Hmm. Alright, well, speaking of potions and stuff, let's go up to Dragon Reach. Or Dragon's Reach. <laughs> and let's see if we can buy a house and see if we can disenchant some of our items. And even enchant some of our items. I don't, I don't know if we're actually able to enchant anything just yet. We might be able to. And I don't even know what enchantments we have. Man, Guilty Conscience guy is back. Man. <laughs> Alright, let's head back up to... I guess I could have fast traveled up to Dragon's Reach, but... Not the biggest deal in the universe. Let's go up there. Man, everyone is talking to me. Mr. Popular over here. Man, I know. Okay, whatever. Everyone shut your face reveals. Gee, I'm just trying to walk over here, trying to go up here, talk to the Yarl's assistant, see if I can get a house, but everyone's just blabbering in my ears. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's head back inside here. And let's see. How much house costs, and if we're even able to buy one, because I think we bought, uh, how much money do we have? Yeah, we still have over $5,000. Let's see if we can buy it. I think it's this guy. I, the Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Yeah, I'd like to buy a house in the city for 5,000 gold. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Well, I'll take it. On second thought, I guess I'll wait a little bit longer. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Thanks. Look at that. We, we got a home. Why did I just get the achievement for getting home? I've got okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm working for. Uh, I'm looking for work. Do you have any leads? I'd like to decorate my home. Uh, I think you can decorate it, but we don't have very much left help. over. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Uh, alchemy. What are we looking for? Children's bedroom. Don't need that. Uh, bedroom furnishings. Yeah, let's do bedroom furnishings. Because I think that gives us a chest. Dining room decorations. Living room furnishings. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Let's do this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if we can get a living room one, too. Yep, there you go, 250. Oh! How much do we have? We have... Oh, 140... Oh, okay. Whatever, okay, I think we have a chest, though. So we can, uh, hopefully store some items there. Like the dragon stuff. Anyways, oh yeah, our armor actually looks kind of cool. To enchant an item, you must know an enchantment or have a filled soul gem to power the enchantment. Uh, and have a filled soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are learned by disenchanting enchanted items. Yep. So do we have anything that we can disenchant? Uh, Necromancer robes and novice hood. Uh, Lydia, you have something... Right? Other than the soul gem mace, right? Burdens. Yeah, the soul snares one. You have... I guess not. Huh. Or, oh, here it is right here. Up to level 7. Flea. For, uh, orcish sword. Oh, that's a orcish sword. Hmm. I kind of want to disenchant this so I can maybe improve it, you know? But 17 damage. Compared to the 23 or something I get from the war axes I have. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. Does 20 points of magic damage. Okay, let's do that one. And we might be able to use this orcish mace. Like as an uh, like as a regular mace. Because uh, I kind of want to improve it. Because we can't, we can't improve it, enchanted items until a little bit later in the game when we're higher level and stuff. So I might want to grab this, disenchant it. Get the enchantment. Improve the, uh, the mace. Come back. Disenchant them, orcish mace the draining, and then re-enchant it, I think. You learn the magic of damage uh, enchantment from destroying this item, nice. So, if I come back here, I can do the magic of damage on the, uh, choose an item, blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't, I need to choose an item first, there we go. So if I came back here with an improved, uh, where'd it go, did it, did it destroy it? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, we disenchanted it. So I think it's a normal one right now, right? So if we go to weapons, uh, Orgish Mace. Oh, does it? Oh, it does destroy the whole entire thing. Huh. Interesting. I was under the impression it just took the enchantment off of it. Huh. Well, look at that. Relearning all this stuff. Like I've said many times before, it's been literal years since I played, so excuse any uh, noobish mistakes I might be making, but hey, you have to learn from experience, don't you? Anyways, yeah, it was a more Orgish Mace. It would have been really nice, but we do have these war axes, which are, which are actually pretty good, but... I don't know if I want to enchant... Ah! Now that I think about it, 30 points of magic damage? 
If that was like maybe fire damage or ice damage or something like that, that I'd probably put those on those war axes. But I don't really have... Like, unless we're fighting a bunch of like maces and stuff, or uh, <laughs> mages and stuff, then the magic damage won't really be too good, you know? Mister, so. could you spare a coin? Really? You want some money? Tired, friend. The Bannered Mare has beds for rent. Hmm. It's funny you say that I just bought a house. I'm so hungry. Well, I've got I've got gold, and Lydia's got like 400 pounds worth of potatoes in her inventory. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Hmm. So why are you begging there, young child? It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. I could adopt you if I... if you want. Huh. I could ad I could adopt her, I know that. Hmm. This is a pretty big decision, but... You know what? I just bought a house. You're looking for a house? Could it be destiny? Could it be fate? That you just happen to run, run into me? Stumble into me? Beg for money? I don't know. Maybe our paths crossed for a certain reason there, little girl. But I could adopt you if you want. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? I do. I just bought one. I have a house, but not room for you. Yeah, I, I have to build a children's... uh, Buy a children's room first, but maybe here later. Oh, well. Thanks anyway, I suppose. Yeah, we should probably come back later. Okay, she, it's the girl in the green dress. So that, that's, that's quite the sob story, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, we should definitely come back. Buy that children's room for, I think, 300 or 500 coins or something like that. Oh, we need to go to the companions area. Grab our dragon bones. Dragons? No, 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 not dragons. Just dragon bones and dragon scales. <laughs> let's go drag our, uh, not drag our dragon bones, but <laughs> let's go get our dragon bones and dragon scales out of, uh, whatever this place was called. I forgot. And, uh, maybe we can see if there's any missions in here we can grab before, yeah, you know, your Vasker, uh, before we head out. That way we can probably, you know, get a couple missions done before we come back to Whiterun. Uh, score. Uh, oh, hey, what do you want to talk to me, Score? I'm looking for work. Yeah, do you have any work for me? Yes, I've I have something special for you. About you and Skor. But it's not for everyone to hear. To Meet me you, in the Underforge tonight. You didn't. We will speak is more. Underforge, you said? Yeah, where, where is this Underforge? So I forget true. that you've never seen so it. That's that. Beneath the Skyforge, where Eorland works. The door is hidden, but I will show you the way. Hmm, what does it mean to be a companion? Yeah, I don't think I need to ask that. I'll take my leave then. Alright, well, you're not leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> you're just sitting down eating some cheese or something. Yeah, over here is our uh, stuff, I think. Yeah, dragon scales and clothes. Or, uh, <laughs> that's not ours. Our clothes isn't ours. Hey, Lydia, hold some trash. Still here. Uh, trade some stuff. I'm at your command. Yeah, hold, hold these uh, dragon scales and stuff. Definitely want to save these for late game. Because we are leveling... Uh, light armor and one-handed weapons, so getting some dragon scale armor, which is decent at best for light armor. Not the best in the game, but it looks cool. And uh, I'm like, it's a use for all this dragon stuff we're getting, so might as well make it, right? But can't make it right now. We need to save it for late game. And if we're if we're scrapping by for money, we're not really doing that right now. But if we're scrapping by for money, we need money. We need to buy something important. We can just sell some dragon scales, dragon bones, and uh, we'll be good to go. We'll be able to. Hopefully get some uh, good money off of them. Because they are worth like a hundred plus gold each. Hey Lydia, here's our new home. Breeze home. Spare coin for a bull. Oh, shut up, beggar. You're just saying what that little girl said because I offered her a house. Jeez. <gasps> ah, completed visit Breeze home. Your new house. Alright, well, here we are. My new house. Pretty empty. I need to buy a uh, living room furnishings, kitchen furnishings, children's room furnishings, uh, among other things. But <laughs> right now, this is all we've got. The upstairs is our bedroom, right? Yep, here we go. And our chest, which is empty right now, but I believe it can hold pretty much unlimited stuff, right? Lydia, I need you to come up here, because you've got all my stuff. I want to... Ooh, we've got a sweet roll, the beggar prince. Nah, I don't learn anything from that. Okay. Uh, Lydia. I'm right behind you. Let me trade some trash. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sour about that thing. About the, uh... Destruction of that orcish mace, but... 
Not the biggest deal in the universe. We could always find more Orcish Maces out there in the future. It's not like it's the only Orcish Mace in the game or anything, you know? <laughs> uh, Sword of the Dragon Bones. There we go. We could probably take the Golden Claw, too. Give me that Golden Claw. That's half a pound, but, like, half a pound will probably be pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty valuable here in the future, you know? So, cabbage, I, sh I should probably take the cabbage and hold that. Yeah, I'll take all the cabbage. I'll take the I'll take all the food, too. There you go. That way I have some food for, uh, for healing and stuff. Sacrifice spikes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you have some pretty good stuff here, Lydia. You're pretty well set. You lead, I'll follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's put the, uh, what was I wanting to put up here? Uh, the Golden Claw. Yeah. Okay, Golden Claw. Let's put that up there. There we go. Oh, put that up there. Iron get we could probably put that up as well. Save a little bit of room. Any more ingots here? Still ingot diamond. Oh wow, that diamond's worth a lot. Oh jeez. Don't think we need it though. We could probably put it up. But it's only 0.1 pounds, so it's not the biggest deal in the universe, you know? Alright, well, let's head out. Oh, we have another room over here. Oh wow, there's uh, another bed. Hey, it's a bedroom for you, Lydia. <laughs> we're not married yet, so we're not obligated to sleep in the same room, sleep in the same bed. <laughs> Anyways. Feels good. We finally have a home. We finally have a place to store our trash. Hey, how's it going? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. I think I'm already doing some mercenary work. Anyways, we need to go back uh, to the Under Ridge or whatever he called it. We need to go there later, but uh, let's go out to Battleborn Farm. Let's go out to the White Run Stables. Let's go pick up Skyrim horses. Let's go, for, let's go retrieve this horn for the for the Greybeard fellow. Prove our worth. Prove that we are Dragonborn. And whatever else he said. <laughs> Alright, well, let's ride across the lands of Skyrim. Actually, is there any uh, towns that are nearby this thing? Uh, Morthal. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of close to Morthal, so we might be able to actually do something like this. Hold on, let me get rid of that dumb quest marker. There we go. Remove it. <laughs> so, there is this guy on a, on a carriage here. I almost said cabbage. <laughs> but as a carriage, we can... Need a ride? We can basically fast travel to towns we've never been to. take to the hold capitals. Yeah, well, I want to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? We need to go to Morthal, right? Yep, Morthal. 50 gold. Really, really cheap, so let's go to Climb Morthal. And back and we'll be off. Alright. Well, if we go to Morthal, of course Skyrim Horse will meet us there. And uh, we'll be that much closer to this horn cave or whatever. And uh, we can just ride Skyrim Horse from Morthal, but... I don't know, I don't really want to go into Morthal right now. I'm, I'm kind of itching for an adventure. Morthal discovered. Uh, oh, what's happening over here? There's like guards and. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. What happened? Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. What isn't the Jarl dealing with? You seem to be upset about something, yeah. The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. Huh. So, uh, what isn't the Jarl dealing with? Dragons? Trust you saw the house that burned down. Peculiar bit of business, that was. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. Tales of monsters. Now this wizard in our mist. What's a man to do if he can't look to his Jarl for help? Hmm. Don't trust the Jarl, don't you? How can I? She never speaks with us. She has allowed this wizard, Falcon, to live in our midst practicing gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons? But help could Idgrad be against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. Hmm. Sounds like the Jarl is Hillary Clinton, and her court wizard is John Podesta, practicing Satanism. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll go pay the Jarl a visit here in a bit, but, uh, thanks for the information, Jorgen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there's an illegal chicken over there. You should probably not touch it, or else it would go straight to jail. <laughs> now, I did say I didn't want to get distracted, but this was quite the interesting story. Jarl Ing- what? What kind of name is that? Ugh. So, life has brought you to Morthal, and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. Hmm, so, uh, there comes some kind of trouble in Morthal. Yeah, I've been hearing people talk about you, and what you don't do. <laughs> that which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. 
Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Time will prove me right. Hmm, so I understand you have visions. Are they visions or are they hallucinations from drugs you may be taking? The divines reveal things to me at times, yes. I do not hide this. It is a gift. Anyone who believes otherwise does not and cannot understand it. Hmm. So she has visions. Does she need Jet to get these visions? Ho ho! What was her name? Fallout 4. That crazy old addict from <laughs> Sanctuary Hills. What was her name? Leave a comment down below if you remember. But this is basically the Skyrim version of her by what it sounds like. She's got visions. Uh, so where do you stand on this war? I stand where I have always stood, here in Morthal. Hmm. Now is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. I fear dark days approach, and all of Skyrim's strength will be needed. You say you stand here in Morthal, but I see you slouched back in a smug, Yarl pose. So I don't believe you. <laughs> well, all right, then. well, we should probably find this like court wizard. Oh. If you've business with the Yarl, I'd ask that you speak to me first. <laughs> I just spoke to her. Uh, is this the? Oh, this is the. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Yeah, I know. I've heard, uh, the guy that saved me from Helgen, he was, uh, part of the Legion. Anyways, where's this court? I don't know where this court wizard fellow is, but, uh, let's close that door. We haven't done a little bit of a sneaking action here in a little while, so- Oh, whoa, whoa, is that free gold I smell? <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do- Hey, how are you doing there? I do what I can to see that Idgrud's time isn't wasted, and that she only has to deal with important matters. <laughs> oh man, no one knows. All right, well, I don't know where her uh, her court wizard or whatever is, necromancer John Podesta, but uh, we should probably <laughs> we should probably get on Skyrim horse now and uh, head over to where wherever that place was. Let's get that on the journal. We have multiple things. Read the cult. Oh yeah, read the cultist orders. Yeah, let's read that. Okay, let's read that here in a second. But you're gonna win caller. Let's deselect some of these that we don't need. But there you go. So we do have those the, those cultist orders. What did it say? Ingredients books, here it is. Cultist orders, here we go. Board the vessel a northern maiden, docked at a raven rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Meow before you reach its soul's theme. Hmm. Return with the word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Ooh, I think we're heading to Morrowind? Is that where we're at? I think it is, if I remember my last playthrough of this a couple years ago. Actually, it was like a year and a half ago. I think I uh, kind of talked about this a little while ago. That it was actually the last summer that I played Skyrim. Anyways, where are we going? This way? Yeah, we're heading this way. There is this path right here. All right, well, we're going to be... Oh, what are we looking for up here? Oh, a big old spitter. Oh, he's spitting at me. Literally a spitter. <laughs> Frostbite spider. Let's try and get this thing. Did I get it? Nope, didn't get it. Oh, oh get it, Lydia. Get it, Lydia. There we go, nice. <laughs> I don't know how I touched it. How'd I hit it? That thing was so far away. <gasps> Frostbite Venom. There you go. Thank you very much there, Spitter Fellow. What's happening down? Ooh, there's something happening here. I see smoke coming out. Seems like, oh, well, we just... Okay, I don't know what just... <laughs> okay, well, what is down here? Seems like some sort of sacrificial, uh... Whoa, whoa, Skilla Fella. Skilla Fella. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good job there, Skyrim Horse. <laughs> Ancient Nord Sword, Iron Shield, don't need that trash. You can take it there, Lydia, if you want it. What do we have here? A little bit of garnet and gold. <laughs> the two G words that I like to see. Uh, let's see, what else is here? Ooh, the Black Arts on trial. Illusion increased to 16. Ooh. I'll take it. Can I take it? I'll take it. I could probably sell that book and get some free money. Uh, what else are we doing here? Uh, earn? Gold? Another one of those Gs that I was talking about. Two seconds ago. And more go. Oh, potion of minor healing too. No matter if I do. I feel like Is it is there like some sort of cave or tomb or something over here? Oh, there's a dead body. Novice conjurer. <laughs> I bet he wishes he was a necromancer. Come back to life. Scaly Felocia. Okay, well, potion extra magica. Black mage robes. Regenerates 50% faster. Uh, magical regenerate. I'll take it. Free money. It weighs like one pound too. Uh Huh. I, I, I was under the impression there would... Staff of the Realm. Whoa! Hold the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Staff of the Revenant? What? Staff of Revenants. Reanimate a pal- <laughs> Reanimate a powerful dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. I'll take it. Let's get that bad boy out. Let's see, can I- can I regenerate him? Can he come back to life? Oh, he's nude though! <laughs> uh. Hey! How you doing? <laughs> can I kill him? Uh, scroll of- oh. Yeah, here's like literal necromancy stuff. It looks like he was like thrown through this table WWE style or something. <laughs> uh, so wait, can I like do anything with you or you just gonna follow me or what? Because it seems like he's gonna be alive for like 60 say yeah, he's following me right now. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> he sounds like a zombie. He's literally a zombie, by the way. So I'm not too impressed by that. But this seems really cool. I could I could bring back. I could I could kill enemies, bring them back to life, and help them fight other. I don't know how I just did that, by the way. <laughs> Uh, but that seems great. So we have both a necromancy shout that I could do like once a day or something, and we have a staff that can literally reanimate dead bodies and fight by my side for 60 seconds. I think we have some really cool necromancy stuff. We might as well just put on those necromancy robes and start practicing some dark arts. Alright, what's happening out here? We got a stag or something out there, right? Some sort of deer fellow. And, uh, what else do we got out here? It seems like there's a bear cave over here. Just judge by the minimap there at the very top of the screen. Let's get our, uh, Falmer shield, blah, blah, blah. Workish dagger. What are we looking for? I'm looking for the war axes. There you go, Falmer war axes. Get that out. There you go. Let's equip this just in case. Oh, 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 oh. There's a, ra there's a rabbit there, but I don't think that was. Oh, yep, there's enemies on the screen. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Spiders? Yeah, it looks like spider. I was about to say, like, is there someone. Shooting arrows at me, but it seems like it's just more spiders. Just big old spitters hanging out here. And more seems like, yep, yep, just shooting at me. I see you sp spitting your webs at me, frostbite spider piece of trash. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, let's loot the dead bodies. Speaking of dead bodies, can I reanimate these spiders? Or does it only work on humans? Let's oh, myth bust this. What was it called? A staff of revenants. Yeah. Is this a thing I could do? Huh. That's really valuable information. So, uh, how much. So if you look at the bottom right, well, it doesn't show you right now, but it shows how charged this enchanted weapon is. But right now, it isn't very charged. Can I kill this thing? I don't know if I can. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get our, uh, unrealistic force. Yeah, let's get that one selected. Uh, where is... Wait, how do I... Wait, what was it called again? Looking for... Yeah, there it is right there, Ritual Stone. Should I get that one enabled? Or keep unrealistic... I, I guess I'll keep unrealistic force. Let's keep that one. Seems really nice, because we already have, uh... I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like we're going to be using this necromancy stuff very often, but... I feel like maybe if we're in a room full of, like, enemies and stuff, and we kill, like, half of them, that'd be a really good shout, because half those dead enemies will rise up from the grave and fight by our side and help us kill the rest of the enemies. That's going to be really cool, but... Can stack ruins... Discovered. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Is there an entrance here? Oh, here we go. Here's something. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like... Yeah, this is, seems like some sort of proper tomb. We could probably come back here a little bit later and investigate it. Hmm. Is that spider by my side? Yeah, that's spider's by my side. <laughs> I was about to say, is that thing trying to attack me, or is that the one that I brought back to life? Uh, looks like we got another... What's that? Oh, two, two uh, deer fellows. Let's keep heading this way. Looks like we got a bear cave. Right up ahead. Right up here on our right. We should probably discover it so we can fast travel back here and maybe investigate it. Oh, what was this? Some sort of camp? Horses? Huh. Storm cloaks. Let's talk to these guys. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Hmm. Join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Was there anyone I could talk to about this Stormcloak stuff? Next Imperial I see is dead. Hmm. <laughs> Glad I didn't go to Solitude and join the Imperials. What do you need? Well, he is a... Yeah, he's a quartermaster. Ooh, okay. Well, what do you have? Because I don't think... Workish Battle... Oh, wow. Workish Battle... Yeah, he has some pretty good stuff, but we don't have that much money, remember? Because we just... Steel Dagger of Arkham. What? 
Target takes 10 points of shock damage and half as much. Oh, wow, that would have been really good if we can. Iron War Axe of Fear. Creatures and people up to level 10 flee from combat for 30 sec or for 30 seconds. Yeah, that, that, that'd be pretty good, but it's a thousand coins. Imperial Bow of Shocks. Uh, arcing 10 points of damage, 15 points. That Imperial Bow seems like it'd be really, really good, but again, we don't have the money. We don't. We can't afford to just buy stuff like that right now. We could have maybe 20 minutes ago. I could just take this stuff. I'll take it. Free some bloody rags. I don't need that trash. Stormcloaked soldiers. Look, seems like they're pretty much dead. Dying. On their deathbed. Literally on their deathbed. Yeah, I think we're good here. Alright, well. Talos guide you. Oh, thanks. Like I was saying, we, I guess we discovered these Stormcloak fellows, so... Now we need to head to, head to Windhelm and see what's going on over there, I suppose. But we're still heading over to this this place. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, I feel like we're getting a lot closer, though. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like right here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we need to go inside of here. Well, it seems like there's someone already here. Oh, yeah, there's people. Oh, yeah, there's Necromancer. Yeah, nice. Necromancer and Bandits. And we got Skyrim Horse here. Hold on, let's get our uh, Farm of War. Oh, yeah, we already have that. Let's get the man, uh, Necromancer. Ah, there we go. I wonder what happened if we brought back the Necromancer. What's over here? I, I thought I... Oh, wow, an ash pile. What happened? What died? <laughs> I don't know. What, did, did Lydia kill something here? Did you kill something, Lydia? <laughs> good job there, Lydia. All right, novice Necromancer. Uh, Necromancer robes. Pretty good money there, Iron Dagger. What about this bandit? Kill that guy. Iron Warhammer. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I saw what looked like people from a distance. I didn't know if they're actually, you know, like, people. But it turns out it was, and I'm glad I was kind of on my feet. Hey, Lydia, did you kill these people? Uh, gold studded armor. Uh, is that what we have? Studded armor? 36, uh... That is what we have, isn't it? Yeah, we have studded armor. But it's art is fine. It's a little bit better. Studded armor, steel sword. For bracers. 10 armor. 10 light armor. What do we have again? We have like 13 on our coldest. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. All right, I think we're good. Nice. Okay, let's take Skyrim Horse into this little... I don't even know what to call this thing, but let's take him down here so it's a little bit less likely that he'll wander away. Oh, looks like I just stepped on a dead body. Ugh. <laughs> get that 13 gold steel mace. 19 damage. Probably want to get like an orcish mace or something that's going to get us uh, more damage, you know, but let's take those apples. What's in that barrel? Garlic. What's in this chest? Gotta be gold and uh, potion, potion of minor healing. Hide a shield, don't need that garbage, and a large sack with sacks of flour inside of it. Nice. All right, let's get ourselves a quick save. Let's move inside to Ustengrav and uh, get this horn or whatever it was from uh, whatever that guy's name was. I forgot. <laughs> 